Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the discovery of a 1,500-year-old Bible that has been causing quite a stir about Christianity. According to this article by Sunny Skies, published May 6, 2014, this Bible was discovered in the Ankaran Justice Palace and believed to be written in Syriac, a dialect of the native language of Jesus. The Bible was seized in the year 2000 from a gang of smugglers and is believed to be 1500 to 2000 years old. It's written in gold lettering on leather pages. The controversy about this Bible is that it contains the Gospel of Barnabas, a disciple of Christ, which claims that Jesus was not crucified, nor was he the Son of God, but a prophet. The book also calls the Apostle Paul an imposter and claims that Jesus ascended to heaven alive while Judas Iscariot was crucified in his place. Claims like this are nothing new. The Quran, which is something like 1400 years old, claims basically the same thing. As a matter of fact, many Muslims point to the Gospel of Barnabas as the original testament which they claim Christians have substituted with the New Testament. However, the Gospel of Barnabas has already been exposed as a Middle Age forgery. I'll include a link to a full article in the description box which gives more details. Some of these details include the Gospel of Barnabas claiming that Barnabas was one of the original 12 apostles of Jesus, when in fact that is not true at all. There's also an instance in the Gospel of Barnabas where Jesus addresses him by name, but Barnabas never personally knew Jesus. Barnabas only appears among the apostles after the ascension of Jesus to heaven, when the early Christian church was taking root in the land of Palestine. As a gesture of faith and love towards his brethren, he sold a field he owned and gave the proceeds to the apostles for distribution at their discretion to those who were in need among the brethren. This gesture of kindness was a great source of encouragement to the believers, and the apostles accordingly named him Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. Before this, he had been known only by his common name, Joseph. The Gospel of Barnabas also includes an expression used only during the Middle Ages, like the expression, false and lying gods, which is a direct quote from Dante's Inferno, a 14th century poem. Many of the descriptions of hell in the Gospel of Barnabas are reminiscent of those in the third canto of Dante's Inferno as well. With that being said, I highly doubt that this 1,500-year-old Bible is really 1,500 years old. It was probably dated incorrectly.